I'm going to play Green Sleeves for you next. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. Old, old song. Before it was a Christmas carol, it was just a beautiful old song. It was, uh, words were written to it called What Child Is This? But uh, it's beautiful either as Green Sleeves or as What Child Is This? Because the melody is the same. Can you believe that? <laughs> so this is What Child Is This? Also known as Green Sleeves in the key of D minor, which is significant because this is not common in Christmas carols, because Christmas carols are generally joyous, happy songs, but some of them are a little more serene, like this one. Um, and it's in the key of D minor. It's a little tricky because it's not really D minor, per se, because we have a B natural sometimes. <laughs> C sharp sometimes. So I'm going to play it for you, then we'll break it down into all of the nitty gritty dirt, dirty details. is there what's called modal, which you don't need to understand the modes right now, but modal means uh, that it uses the same scale as a different key, but a different note as the central pitch. And that's enough, enough info about modes for you for right now. Um, what effect it has on this song is that the chords being played are a D minor chord, uh, uh, for most of it, but I have a B natural note, which is not native to the key of D minor, and sometimes I have a C sharp, which is also not part of the key D minor. So, um, and so this is, uh, we'll break it down from the beginning. So you'll notice on the bowing, uh, that I'm doing something where I have down, up, down, up, down, up, down for most of the song. Which keeps the bowing simple and it, it keeps that rhythmic flow of the tune going. So. there makes it easier because doing a slur across a string change is a lot trickier than playing a fourth finger. It's easier than... and it's more likely to come out clean and sounding nice. So then we repeat that section. That's the beginning. sharp there. It would sound weird if we didn't. It sounds like it doesn't belong in this song because it doesn't. And the chord being played is an A, a major or A7 chord. 
which has a C sharp in. So that, that is why we have a C sharp there. So that part, when we repeat, is exactly the same, but the second ending is different. It goes two, one, oh, day, two, oh, oh. So two, one, oh, day, two, day, four, oh. Two, two, so we're into the second part. So. We played the A part twice. Now we're on to the B part. Low two. Two one oh three one C natural now. some trickiness there with C naturals and C sharps so I'm going to play it through one more time with you uh, calling out the C naturals and C sharps. We start on a C natural C natural Each of them has a second ending. This is another song that's awesome to sing along in your head. Whether you're singing the words to Green Sleeves, or you're singing the words to What Child Is This, or you're just singing the, the tune as you've heard it played by people who play it well or sung it well. Even if you don't know the words, you don't have to, because frequently I don't know the words. I'm not very good at remembering the words to songs, but I'm great at remembering the melodies. And so if you can give that inflection of singing to your playing, everybody's going to love it.
Merry Christmas.